Sorry for interrupting. However, today I am going to show you an amazing amplifier circuit. This has 4 channels with 45 watts outputs. This sound I see is used for car amplifiers. Keep subscribing me for more important video. In this project, I used EasyEDA software to design the circuit diagram. After completing the schematic, I converted it into a PCB layout, making sure every connection was accurate and well placed. Here's a look at the 3D model of the project, which gives us a clear preview of how the final PCB will look. Once the layout was finalized, I exported it as a Gerber file, which is the format needed to manufacture the PCB. Next, I open the JLC PCB platform to upload the Gerber file. It's a straightforward process, just a few clicks to get the file uploaded. After that, I made the necessary adjustments to ensure everything was perfect, like double checking the board size and layer settings. Finally, I added it to the cart, and now we're all set for manufacturing. After about two weeks, the finished PCBs arrived right at my doorstep, and I have to say, they look fantastic. Now, it's time to bring this project to life. I'm going to walk you through the entire build process step by step. To get started, we'll need the following components. The heart of this project is the TDA7388IC, which plays a crucial role in the circuit. Along with that, we'll be using a 4700F 35V capacitor, a 7805 voltage regulator, and 104 PF ceramic capacitors. For power management, we'll need 6 amp diodes. We'll also need some wire connectors, terminal blocks, and additional capacitors, 47F, 0.47F, and 1F. To complete the circuit, we'll use 10K Omega resistors and a 50K Omega stereo volume controller to manage the audio output. Now that we have everything ready, let's dive into building the project. But before we wrap up, don't forget to attach a heat sink to the TDA7388IC. 
This is essential for keeping the IC cool during operation. With this setup, you can get four individual outputs, each providing 45 watts of power. To ensure everything runs smoothly, be sure to use a power supply of at least 2 amperes at 12 volts. Now, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's test the project. And that's it for today's project. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyed building along with me. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more exciting projects and tutorials. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Be innovative and, stay with Set and Fix.